date back to 2006 and show she is a trustee of the properties, not an owner. But those documents are written in a font called Calibri, which was not commercially available until 2007. If you look at 1992 and 93, this is a very important time. Mariam Essers grew 21 times and there's no justification for that. In a single year, you are not a business owner. There's no business under your name, but 21 times your assets are going up. In 1992, Mariam Nawaz turned 19 years old. After the Panama Papers revelations, Pakistan's investigative agencies probed the financial affairs of the Sharif family. The joint investigation team basically found out that uh, Mr. Nawaz Sharif uh, could not justify uh, the assets he had made uh, from known sources of income. That was one of the main charges. The matter was sent for criminal prosecution. In criminal prosecution, there was a trial which went on for almost a year. And in that trial, not even a single answer came from Mr. Sharif about the origin of his wealth or the explanation of those four Avonfield flats in London. Where is the money trail? That they have never been able to prove. The Sharif family is believed to be one of the wealthiest in Pakistan, but the origin of their wealth remains a mystery. The flat that you're living in at the moment in, in Mayfair was actually named in the Pakistani paper, The News, last year as one of four which was illegally bought by your father through various Swiss and offshore companies. Why don't people who, is, who are actually blaming us for that go to the court and prove it? But do you know who owns the flat that you're living in? Well, that is not the question right now. Why not? But it's the question I'm asking you. Do you know who owns the flat? Well, it's on a rent. It's, I'm, I'm ring on a rent basis which comes from every, every uh, quarter from Pakistan. You're and renting it personally or the money comes from Pakistan? The money comes from Pakistan. I'm just like any other student living with his parents. I doesn't necessarily have to know about what the facts and what, who owns the flat and who pays for um, the rent and who pays for my living. The family deserve all this. It is not my fault that I was born in a rich family, in a wealthy family. My grandfather earned that with a hard, hard work, sheer hard work. When you ask them that where you got this money from, they will start telling you the story of their late grandfather. At the time of independence, we came from India, we have businesses. Uh, seriously speaking, there's no business in the world which has no money to it. Uh, if you look at their tax filings, it doesn't come out as a big industrial family. The Sharifs uh, never featured in that uh, rich families of Pakistan. But uh, now if you make a list of the richest families in Pakistan, then definitely Sharifs uh, would feature in the top 10, maybe in the top 5, because exact uh, amount of their holdings uh, as to how much is uh, hidden in uh, Luxembourg, in UK, in UAE, in Saudi Arabia, what is in different bank accounts uh, in the United States, uh, that is not known. Whether it is $4 billion or $5 billion, that is not known. In December 2018, as a result of the Panama Papers revelations, Nawaz Sharif and his daughter are sentenced to seven years on corruption charges. Nawaz Sharif is granted bail for medical treatment in London and refuses to return to Pakistan. From London, Nawaz Sharif claims his downfall is a conspiracy by the Pakistani military. Bajwa Sahab, 